Hi and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a crust. We're going to be making a quiche next time so look for that video coming up. But today we're going to make the crust for the quiche and we're going to start with almond flour. Now you can use almond flour that is blanched. This is unblanched so it has the skin on it. it just adds a little nutrition. It just matters if you mind the little specks in it or not. Not a big deal either way. We're going to add one cup and then also one cup of whole wheat flour. You can use uh, unbleached white flour if you prefer, then a little bit of salt. Now, we're going to, to, in order to get it to stick together, we're going to add just a little bit of water and just a little bit of oil. About two tablespoons to begin with. That was maybe three. Two tablespoons of oil. We'll add just a little more if we need to. You want it crumbly, you want it to stick together. So we're gonna check it. Could use a spatula for this. Just wanna see. I think I'll add just one more tablespoon of water. mixed together really well and then we'll pour it into our pie pan and press it out. All right, I don't claim to be a professional crust maker so mine never looked beautiful but this is for a quiche so I didn't put it all the way up you can do your crust however you want you can press it up all the way to the top you can make it look beautiful whatever the case press it into your liking and then we're gonna bake it in the oven 375 for just 8 to 10 minutes all right we took our pie crust out of the oven. It's ready to pour some yummy quiche in. So like I said, be watching for that video. The amount that we made actually made two pie crusts. So you can divvy it however you want. You could put it in a nine by 13 pan. This crust works for quiche. It works for other pies, pie-like things or regular pies as well. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time.